hello, welcome to the warm-up series. If you're coming to this through the YouTube channel, these are warm-ups that I use with my students, and this is a way that they can practice them with me on their own. Uh, so, hi guys, and if you're new here, feel free to play along. Um, if you're interested in signing up for lessons, head on over to autopercussion.com to find out more. Today we're doing singles, doubles, and paradiddles at a 16th note speed with a slowly speeding up metronome from the tempos of 60 to 140 beats per minute. Every 4-4 four, four bar, or every 4 clicks, the metronome will get faster by 1 beat per minute. The two most common ways of doing this exercise are either to not use a metronome and go from as slow as you possibly can to as fast as you possibly can, and then slowly slow back down, or to pick specific metronome markings to practice them at and do certain amounts of repetitions at those speeds. I like this particular method because it blends these two methods. It's important to remember that the main purpose of this warm-up is not about speed, it's about subdivision. The goal is that you can accurately hear the click and divide it into four separate spots, and that's why you're playing four notes per click. The increase in speed is there to add challenge, but it also makes you constantly think about that click. This is also designed so that you can find your tempo threshold. If you can make the 140 tempo playing perfectly, and you're being honest with yourself about that, then you should pull out your own metronome and keep going faster. Once you find your threshold, you should spend some time working at and around that tempo to try and increase your skill and control. Also, when playing along, drop out when you find that threshold. It doesn't do you any good to just keep playing because the video is, and if we were doing this together in a lesson, we'd stop when we find your threshold. Feel free to do these multiple times. If you want to jump to either singles, doubles, or paradiddles inside of this video, you can click the time links in the description below. Also, note that the audio is in stereo with the click in the left ear and the snare in the right ear, so you can do the one ear thing if you want, or if you've got a really fancy setup with a, with a pan knob, you can do that. Um, so you can do one or the other. All right, let's go. Two e and a ready and a go e and a.
Ready and a go, E and a. Ready and a go, E and a.
Thanks for warming up with me. Feel free to browse the channel for other drum-related content, and if you're interested in lessons, head on over to autopercussion.com to find out more. Let's hit it.